All right, create and use custom controllers. So on this video, we are going to discuss about custom controllers. Previously, we have discussed about standard controllers. So what is controllers? Like my previous example or analogy, it's the engine like the engine, like a car engine that decides what happens if you, for example, click a button, click a link. So on a standard car, if you press the gas pedal, it will go forward, vroom, like that, right? But if you make a custom engine and you change that you want if you press the gas pedal it goes braking it's actually braking the car it's going to be dangerous but you can decide or define your own functions if you press the power window button instead of rolling the windows down in your car it turns on the wiper. It will freak people out. What's, what's going on? So that's basically a custom controller where you define your own actions or functions on anything, on a button, on a link, on, a, on anything on your visual force page. So that's pretty much it. So what is a standard controller? Standard controller is a standard engine so if I Google standard controller methods there, here is the standard engine on a standard controller on a visual force page that you have on any object, any object on your visual force, on your Salesforce. For example, account, have them, contacts, cases, opportunities, any, any object, even custom object have their own standard controller these are the available actions view save reset get record get id edit delete cancel add fields and then field names and you can read through all of it what each and every single one will do this is a standard controller right if you make your own say you make custom controller you can define a jump, a jump function or fly or whatever you want to define. So you get what I mean, right? So that is a custom controller. So for this example, this visual force page is defined with a custom controller. You say controller equals a custom controller, which is an Apex class. Okay, so when you define a custom controller, you have to create the Apex class first. Otherwise, when you save this page, you will get an error. See, it says it doesn't exist. What are you talking about? There is no engine contactless controller. There is none. So in order to be able to save this, you will need to create the actual controller first. So let's create that. Okay. So I'm going to pop my developer console on my playground. This one and move this back so we can see the trail again. Now we are going to launch our developer console. Gear icon and developer console. Okay, this is from the previous one. Let's make a new one, new Apex class. So a controller is always in a form of an Apex class. Name it, oops, that's the wrong copy paste there. Let's flip back, what should we name this? We should name this, I think I passed that. We should name this contactless controller, okay? Um, paste that. I'm going to hit OK. 
and let's copy paste the code from here this is the not from here from is blank so right now it's just blank right so let's copy this code here and then I will talk about it this is this is the controller we want to paste over here oops actually paste there and shift tab so a contactless controller now we have this variable sort order and we have a get contacts method okay let me just save this for now now let's create the visual force page file new visual force page and let's see what's the name for the visual force page if i scroll up here it should be name contact not contact list controller it should be name oh yeah it is the name of the page that's kind of misleading but it's kind of confusing if you name your visual force page a controller well we should just name it contact list but this is just a, an example so the apex page is contact list controller there we go and if i flip back here i'm going to copy that and there and save so we have defined an apex page and the engine or the controller that controls this page is the contact list controller which is this class we have created right so in this class we have a get contacts method and it will it will actually order it order the contact so select ID field first name last name title email from contact order by sort order which is this last name ascending limit 10 and then return the results all right so this is a database query method you basically construct your circle here and then return the results which will be passed back to the page okay that's a get contacts method so let's flip back here so we have created the visual force um, page over here and we have created the visual the controller over here we have created the method now let's add um, this code here which is actually going to list the the context so I'm gonna flip back here and go back here contact list goes here I'm gonna paste my code over there and tidy things up like that right so this is similar to the uh, looping on the list the the list um, we talked about on the previous video so this context right right this context where is this coming from from the controller so uh, no we haven't even connected that yet so this context is not connected yet right now we, we let, let's take a look at uh, the trail again so let's take a preview um oh get contacts we have a get contacts uh, which is a getter which is a get method so yeah the get contacts method will actually pass the value to here so if we do a preview here which i need to scroll to the left monitor so we will we will actually see the contacts we have right now in our Salesforce um, playground. All right, that's the preview. So it's using what we call a getter method, a getter method. So this get contacts our our getter method 
is doing this and it's returning the results and it's passing it. So this get contacts, right, is accessible through the contacts. So if I say this is um, get accounts, it will be accessible through the accounts variable. Okay, so I'll leave it at that. If I flip back to my trail, and we, we have this contact list now. So, see, it's discussing about the gather method. The get contacts method is called a gather method. And it's a general pattern. So you have to recognize the pattern where curly bracket, exclamation point, some expression in your visual force markup automatically, automatically, okay, connects to a method named get some expression. So this is the same, some expression. This is also some expression. So that is now accessible. Okay, you just need to get that and, and you'll get the hang of it when you build more and more visual force page. Okay, so now we wanna add a new action method here. We can have sort by last name and sort by first name. I'm gonna copy this and put this after. So if you if you put your mouse here, you know, notice this becomes green and this becomes green, okay? You can also collapse that there, see? So you know where it starts, this method starts from here all the way to here. It close on here, it's green, right? You can close that. So if I want to put a new one, I put it like that and I command A, Shift, Tab. So it looks nicer and all each on, on each method, you can close it like that so you can read it easier. Okay, you can do that. Oops, I don't want to mark that red. So I'm going to save that. So now we have sort by last name method and sort by first name. So it's defining the sort order here. The sort order, which is this sort order, right? So it's gonna change this whenever we we call this function or this method, okay? So let's flip back here. Now we've that, we have that now. In the contact list with controller page, replace the two apex column tags for first name and last name with the following markup. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna replace the first name and last name on a visual force page, which is this one, okay? So first name and last name, take this out, boom, it's gone. Now I put it there and I paste the code, right? Oops, Yo, whoa, what's going on? It looks ugly, I'm gonna command A, Shift, Tab. There. So now we have two columns here. It's, it's an apex column, the first one, which is the first name, and it also have the second column here, which is the last name, but we have a face, a facet, and we name it header, and we have a command link. Look at that, command link. The action of it is sort by first name. This one, the action of it is sort by last name. And when you click on that link, what would you like to re-render? The contact list. So this whole thing here, starting from here, will re-render. What do you mean re-render? Re-render means it's gonna reload, okay? It's gonna reload the whole thing. So if I save that, and we are gonna try it now, after the start is gone, and hit the preview keeps popping up on my other monitor there. Now, if you click on here, see, it's now sortable. Boom, nice, boom. Last name, first name, last name. See, that's really cool, right? So this is now connected with a command link, both column header and that command link will run this function on the 
controller. Sort by last name, sort by first name. So that's pretty much it. So if I flip back to my trail hat here, um, beyond the basics, please read through this. And then, yeah, you can also do it like this for the getter and setter method. You do get set. Get means here. An alternative to getters and setters is to use Apex properties. Properties are kind of a combination of a variable with getter and setter methods with a syntax that groups them together more clearly. A simple property that reference a custom object might be declared like this. So public or private, the object, the variable name, get set. So what does get set means here? This is important. Get or getter methods pull data out of your controller onto your visual force page okay get get the data from the controller get it and put it on the page what about set it's the other way around so set is what let you submit values from the page and put it to your controller for use so like a data input so if you, you want to get input from your page you need your setter so that's yeah that's how it works okay so you will get the hang of it when you create more and more visual force page if it's still kind of abstract to you and you say what say what you know it's okay that's normal as we build more and more visual force pages, the simple ones, and then going to complicated ones later on, uh, you will get the hang of it. All right. So that's pretty much it. Also, there's an extension, controller extension, uh, which we'll discuss maybe on a developer intermediate session. Let's not get you too confused right now. That's it, and I'll make the challenge on the next video. Bada bing and bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.